In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ice to walk over water. Just as the Crayonis rune in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This is Michael and welcome to the Proximus Gaming YouTube channel. As you know, in Breath of the Wild, we had this amazing Crayonis ability which makes it able to create ice blocks in water to walk over them. In Tears of the Kingdom, this is not so much it, but there are other ways. Use a weapon and pretend to throw it, and instead of that, throw an ice fruit or a white chew jelly. Now there's one little ice block. Fuse that ice block with a weapon. And now when you use the attack button, another ice block will spawn. And another one. And another one. And another one. This might be even better than the Crayonis rune in Breath of the Wild. Because you can do this infinite times. And you can just walk over instead of jump over. And it takes so less time. Look at that, we created a whole path. And of course, the ice will melt over time, also the ice on your weapon. And if that happens or your item breaks, you can always fuse another ice block to another weapon. So get another weapon, use the fuse option, get one ice block, and there we have it. Another ice weapon. And we can start all over again. It's easy, right? This makes it so much more easy to just walk over water or reach places that are too far in the water to swim. For example, this treasure chest. I hope this was helpful. If so, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel when you're there. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in my next video. This is Michael signing off now. See ya.